Good morning, and welcome to Preparing to Survive and Thrive Home Study Channel with Charlie B. So, today we're actually out foraging. Um, I took a break from bending over and pulling weeds from the garden, and I picked some berries, so I'm all wet. There's dew everywhere. It rained last night. But today I'm also foraging for some medical herbs. Um, I am out looking for yarrow. I have a whole bunch of time. So let me switch you around. You can see it. There we go. We have a nice patch here. What I'm going to do with this, I'm actually going to pull it up and, well I'm not going to pull it up, I'm going to cut it off and I'm going to freeze dry it so I can use it for different um, items this winter. Um, so let me show you a little bit about yarrow. As you can see it has this beautiful white flower on here and from what I've read everything is usable and it has these little wispy, they almost look like feathers, um, leaves all down it, getting eaten by bugs. Now here's some smaller ones over here. They haven't quite gotten their blooms on them. They're starting. Some other ones. And how you can tell that this is yarrow, when they first start coming up, they just kind of look like this. It's a rosette. Very pretty. But I'm going to let these guys pop up and just let them do their things. And I'm going to get to cutting these guys off from my bigger stocks and then we'll get into the freeze dryer part. Okay, so I'm ready to put the yarrow on the freeze drying tray. What I'm gonna do is I'm literally putting the whole thing, including the stems. Um, I heard you can take the stems and actually use it to help stop bleeding and make a poultice a out of it. Um, kind of like you smash it up and you um, put a big lump of it on the skin. So, I did, sorry for reaching across, but hey, I did go ahead and um, leave these sit outside for a little while. Even though they were soaking wet when I brought them in, I left them sit out for a little while just to get the um, buggies off of them. Because I don't really like buggies. At least not on my freeze-dried freeze stuff. And I really didn't want to wash them all, even though it rained really hard last night. If I wash them, it added more moisture. And I'm going to put these in the freezer for a little while. Just to make it easier. Just putting, cutting these in so it will go actually into the freeze dryer a little bit easier. For the length. You can eat the leaves, you can eat the flowers. Um, so, um, at least that's what I read. I have not tried them, so I'm gonna try one, just to see. I did read that you should eat the leaves when they're small and tender. All right, well, I will tell you they're very bitter. Well, they're very bitter. Thank God that wasn't a taste test on film. Because, whoo, you had been laughing at my face. Ugh. But they're full of nutrition. But you don't want to eat too many of them because they do stop bleeding. They cause your blood to thicken. So if you have a problem with blood thickening too easily and too much, yeah, you might want to stay away from yarrow. Woo, that's bitter. But I did it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these all on a tray and then I'll get them in the freezer and then tomorrow I will go ahead and put them in the freeze dryer. So we'll be back in a little bit. So I've got everything cut up and stuff on the trays now. The ones with the flower heads look a lot thicker, but they're really not because the stems and stuff are a lot more dense than this because there's a lot of air with the flowers because they're not being smashed down. So I'm going to go ahead and stack these guys like this on top of each other and put them in the freezer like I said. You can see it just smashed down as soon as I stuck that one on top. So, well, hopefully we'll be back when I either go to put them in the freeze dryer or when I pull them out. And we'll have some great medicine. Okay, 
Okay, so this is the Comfrey that is out of the freeze dryer. It took about 10 and a half hours, um, but I was in the middle of something, so I extended the dry time and then I forgot about it. And so then I put it in freeze mode and refroze everything to keep it going. And then I just hit it and warmed up the trays and got it out, but everything's good and dry. Actually turned out pretty good. So here, it, oops, you can hear it snap very very dry so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the two trays with the flowers hopefully in one bag and the two trays without the flowers hopefully in one bag so let's find out if we can do that <music> So I got my oxygen absorber in here and I am going to put the bag in my sealer. Now I do not want it to seal completely because I suck out all the air. I mean I want it to seal completely, but I don't want it to suck so hard that it ends up puncturing holes in my bag. So let's see if we can get this to work. So it's sealing now, and of course I will reseal it with the other bag. So I ended up getting four bags. Um, I was afraid of poking holes in the bags, so I went ahead and did a bag of a bag for each tray. So that means I have two bags of flowers and um, two bags with just the stems and the leaves. Now the flower, the flower bags also has the stems and leaves. I think most of the flowers are going to end up falling off. So let me finish this up and we'll be back. Well, we've got four bags of yarrow sealed up and we're going to put them in our stores and look for videos of me making salves and different things with them um, as we need them. I'm hoping to actually compel a little list, compile a little list, sorry. Um, of the different things I found out that they'll do with any of the herbs that I have um, freeze dried and have them in my stores. So, um, but always do your research because make sure that a herb does not counteract with the medicine that you're already taking. So with that thought, okay, well, if you like my content, please like, share, and subscribe. Charlie B signing out and I'll be talking with you soon. So stay tuned for more videos.